I've seen the doc and, and we've had a bit of a chat with what's going on and um, unfortunately I've been ruled out for the remainder of the game so I won't be able to compete. Um, just a high risk with the knee, just with that damage to the knee that um, if I do race then there's that potential to make it much worse. So, um, And then taking aside from that the fact that I'll be quite sore and you know, there's also a risk of injuring something else if you're not quite skiing the, the right way. So it's just one of those things that that's sort of the end of my games from a from an athlete point of view. We know that there's a fracture, a small fracture in the knee, and um, we also know that there's possibly some, some damage within the knee underneath the, the bone or where it's bruised. So we just don't know the extent of the cartilage damage. And, and just going off that and and with this assessment that we had today that um, that it's probably a better option to avoid skiing on it. So aside from the obviously the the facial sort of burns across the snow, I've um, managed to chip a little bone um, in my knee um, and also damage some of the cartilage possibly. Um, and then I've also managed to bruise uh, my ankle quite significantly. Um, so uh, the ankle is actually worse than the knee, but you know. Um, from a structural point of view it's pretty sound but just more concerns with the knee from a long-term point of view that it wasn't worth taking the risk. Um, obviously skiing on one ski puts a lot of pressure on the leg so that was just a decision that we, we came to.